Today we will be looking at my 10 favorite presentations that I've made in the past few months. They have gained millions of views across my channels on YouTube, Instagram and TikTok. I've ranked them from 10 to 1 with 1 being the one I'm most proud of and definitely let me know which one is your favorite in the comments below. And we're starting from number 10 which is the logo animation and this is a perfect opening slide for your company. Let's start with an image and a logo and as soon as you click you zoom into the logo and you catch on to the next slide. It's a cool effect which also works in reverse if you want. Now there's an alternative that you could use that is a cutout version. So you have a shape with a cutout logo and then you can zoom in through that shape to a picture to start your presentation. Now if you don't have an obvious logo with a clean shape, you could also use an alternative like this where you zoom into a part of the logo and then you can play around with the blur of that image to make it blurry in the background or sharp depending on how you want it. That brings us to number nine, the interactive slides. And I really like this style of slides that you could use in a presentation because here you can navigate through the slide in a non-linear way. Meaning if you click on topic one, it will appear. You can also go to number three or to number four. And it doesn't really matter in which order you click, the shapes will appear or the content will appear according to your presentation. So you can get some interaction with the audience and have a custom presentation built for you. Number eight, image highlights. And I like this one to present, for example, team members or highlight specific parts of a image. You can zoom in with a grayscale background and then focus with a highlight color on a certain part of the image. Then every time you click, it will move to the next person or the next topic in your image. And you can add and customize the content however you like it. And then at the end, you can also expand it back to full to have the complete overview. A really cool way to show images and themes. This brings us to number seven, the black and yellow themed template. This is a minimal style presentation with black and white images and the yellow accent color. Here we have an opening slide and then it contains a lot of different slides like SWOT analysis with different animated parts of that SWOT graph and also charts or slides like bar charts where we have animated content on the right and animated bar charts on the left. It just adds that little extra touch. You can also show images and highlight certain parts of the image or add some extra information if you like. Then we've also shown a creative way of adding quotes or customer reviews to the slide in a more unique way. And this is overall a template which I'm very happy with. This brings us to number six, the revealing transition. And I like this one because it's a underused or undervalued transition in PowerPoint. We know it mostly from the very cliche transitions, but if you add actual curtains to the transition, it has a totally different effect. And you can also customize it to your own brand color. So if you have more of a minimal look and feel, you could easily make them black and white and reveal something on the next slide in a more professional way rather than just slides appearing or disappearing like curtains. You could also customize the texture of that curtain and the color to match your brand and the identity that you want to show. Same with the textures, you can also customize them and really match it with your style that you want in the presentation. I think it really gives a luxurious feel. Number five, animated steps. And this is a variant of one of my most popular tutorials, but in a slightly different way. So we have an opening slide with the tabs on the left and as soon as you click, they will appear on the presentation and they go to full screen on the slide. But now we've added an extra thing that if you click once more, the content will appear tab per tab. So you have more room to work with in your tabs presentation. Click again and it will shift to the second one. Click once more and then it will move to the third one. Now here I've used mostly text, but you can use any type of content. You could use images, you could use icons, charts that doesn't really matter you can customize the content however you like but the concept itself i really like because you keep an overview of everything and then still have more detailed content or explanation available and you can circle it back to the beginning number four the push transitions and this was a pretty cool one to make because it's a compilation of five different ways to use the push transition and the first one is to use it on a timeline where you could expand your slide and use the timeline on a longer slide so you kind of push it to the right to get that effect we also have the scrolling effect where you scroll down the page similar to a website look and feel so it's a modern touch that you add to really make the slides a lot longer and to have that image in the background running continuously we could also connect with 
objects like colors or shapes. Here we can see that there's part of the color cut off and that links to the next slide. You could also do it with pictures. So you have that teasing effect of the picture and then you pull it in and then you have the entire overview. You could also use it to compare pros and cons on a slide, but to give it equal space and to really use that real estate, screen real estate that you have. Or the last one, and I like this one from the push, is a roadmap where you take the viewers or the audience through a journey and you can control it with that little line and then you can move to the next slide and really visualize the different steps in a project. I think the push transition can really be used in creative ways. Number three, the green themed template. And also this one is probably the one I'm most proud of in the template section because it's a very dynamic and inspiring presentation, I think. Where as soon as you click, things will start shifting around and it gives that feeling that it's not really a presentation or a standard PowerPoint that we're used to, but it moves in ways and it's connected in ways that is really thought through. And I like the design of the color palette that we've used as well. The mockers that you can see are all included. So they are made in PowerPoint with the different shapes. We have SWOT analysis, more of a minimal style approach. And then we have bar charts to show, for example, market share in a more circular way. But the color accents all come back with the image and the rest of the slides. So I'm really happy with how this one turned out. Number two, the parallax effect. And the parallax effect is a common one, but you don't see it often in presentations. Basically what it does is it has an image in the background and then something else shifts in front of it and everything moves at slightly a different pace. So you can create some really cool presentations with it. This also has multiple levels. So if you look at the second one, we have an image in the back, similar to the scrolling effect, but the objects in the front move at different paces. So you can see that clicking again, all the icons start moving and it gives that 3D, that depth in your slides. Now taking it one step further in the parallax section is that you can really create some dynamic presentations by layering everything and then moving everything at a different pace. Here we can see that we go to the mountains, but then we can also go to full screen on that black background and even move back with the different content and really create a cool effect in your presentation. And this brings us to number one, which is the use of 3D models in your PowerPoint. And I've made this aviation presentation with a 3D model that if you click, everything will start flying in, but not just flying in regularly, but it uses the 3D rotation. So if you click once more, you can see that the plane, the object is moving inside of your slides. And we also have the layer of the clouds. I really like how this one turned out in the end with the multiple layers and the transitions in the presentation but also just it's not the regular presentation that you see. It's something else. It's thinking a bit outside of the box and using the full potential of 3D models in PowerPoint. I think this feature will only improve. So expect to see a lot more of these 3D models and really test out the capabilities of what you can do. Now for all of these templates, I have made the tutorials available and I'll link them in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching. Definitely let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. And if you want to learn more about PowerPoint, please watch the video on the screen right now.